Okay, so what's up guys? In this video, we'll look at electrical engineering versus electrical engineering technology. Many people are now aware of the difference between electrical engineering and electrical engineering technology. Though many people think these degrees are the same, they are in fact quite different. While both degrees prepare you to work in technical fields, there are some differences you should know about. The electrical engineering degree is a degree that allows you on completion to be registered as an engineer provided it has met the requisite components in its curriculum of the relevant accreditation body for the program. In the US, this usually means that the degree program meets the requirements of the accreditation body for engineering technology or ABET. Because of the requirements set out by ABET, this means that you'll be doing similar courses regardless of which school you enroll in. ABET mandates for EE programs that you do a certain amount of mathematics, science with lab courses, courses related to the major, and a final design project. What this means is that in an EE program, you will do courses in calculus, usually calculus 1, 2 and 3, as well as linear algebra, discrete mathematics, differential equations, and statistics. You can also be sure to do courses in sciences such as physics 1 and 2, as well as chemistry or biology and these classes will all have lab requirements. As for EE classes, you'll be doing things like DC and AC circuit theory, circuit analysis, field theory, control systems, as well as courses in continuous and discrete signals and systems. Depending on the school you go to, you will have the option of specializing, which is to say you'll do a concentration such as communication systems, mechatronics, or power electronics in a few. EE is a very math intensive program and as guys of the program you'll have a broad base to be able to learn what you need while on your job. Electrical engineering technology is a more hands-on field. While EE is focused on theory, EET is focused on the practical aspects of the EE field. Whereas an EE program prepares you to design and develop new products, an EET program is designed to help you to assist EEs in their work. For this reason, we call the graduates of an EE program engineers, while AET grads usually are technologists. AET grads, since they focus on the practical aspects of electrical engineering, will not cover as much math and theoretical work, and they will learn skills that they will use in practical troubleshooting. In this program, you will learn things such as DC and AC circuits, with less focus on theory and more focus on the labs. You will also cover math courses but they are typically limited to calculus 1 and 2 and usually statistics. You'll get to work on some fun and hands-on courses, including courses using microcontrollers, PLCs, integrated circuits, digital electronics, and industrial automation controls. In this program, you'll also have to do lab courses, such as those in physics or chemistry, with practical lab components. Since the AET program has a greater industry focus, it is common to see courses such as quality control, electrical maintenance, project management, and health and safety. Regardless of which program you choose, EE or EET, you will have to do courses in computer programming as well as a final design project in your senior year that showcases all you have learned. So which is a better career choice? Well, if you love math and want to dive deep into electrical theory, then with an EE program, it will be a better fit for you. You'll be able to get your master's or PhD and may be able to work in a research and development department in an industry or in academia. An electrical engineering degree is very flexible and will give you a range of career paths. On the other hand, an electrical engineering technology degree will prepare you for a lot of jobs that are hands-on, such as those in repair and troubleshooting as well as installation. If you like to work with your hands, this is a good career option. If you love electronics but have a dislike of math, then this program will also be a good choice for you as the math required is very minimal. With an EET degree, you'll also be able to register as an engineer by taking your PE exams. However, you'll need to be working a few more years in the field than an EE grad before you can do so. As technology continues to grow, we can expect a greater demand for both EE and EET grads. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my videos.